Well, the horns are definitely improving, but we're not where we need to be just yet. We did well enough to beat the Aggies tonight, 67-58. Great game tonight uh, for the horns. Um, you know, the first half was very close. The Aggies kept it close for a long time. Uh, I mean, the whole first half was back and forth. And one of the main reasons was Alanu uh, for A&M was tearing us apart. I think he had 11 points in the first half. Uh, but just a dominant force underneath, we didn't really have an answer for him. I mean, Pittman was our answer, but we kept taking him out. And, you know, Atch, who's usually good on defense, we really didn't have an answer for him, and, and no one else really could take care of him. Second half, we took only had like, one point in the second half. So we did a good job in the second half. Um, our offense was good tonight. You know, we answered every shot the Aggies had. Uh, usually we're more of a defensive team. Uh, but we didn't show that until the second half. Uh, first half, though, I think it was 30-28. Um, we, we kept going back and forth with them. I think, you know, A.J. really struggled tonight. Um, he, I think it was his first game in a long time that he hadn't had a three-pointer go down. Uh, he was over 2 from outside, 3 and ten, three for 10 um, within the arc. So he, he really, you know, he saw the shot was off and he didn't force it, which is what a leader needs to do. You know, D.J. had the same problem last year. He got in a slump. And what DJ did was he realized he was in a slump. He didn't try to force it. He gave the ball, got the ball to other t- other players on the team, and allowed them to take over. And that's what AJ did today. Second half was the Damian James show, and that's and I've been talking to you guys for a while, and I've been saying this for a long time. The guy, I mean, he's he's the best player on our team, and if he will play like the, he did, he played in the second half uh, tonight. There's nobody who can stop him, and he, we will be contending against every team we play if he plays like that. He had 27 points tonight, and he went on a run there, I think eight straight baskets, or not eight straight baskets, eight straight points, um, I believe so, something like that. He had a great run on him. And, but not just the scoring, but the intensity he brings. You know, when you, when you slam the ball at home, when you get an alley-oop at home, uh, the intensity goes up, up in, that, in that stadium, and the Aggies just couldn't respond. Um, you know, a and after we took the lead, after it was 30-28 to 28 at the end of the half, uh, we had the lead uh, from then on. The Aggies never took the lead again. Uh, but that's not to say it wasn't close the second half. Uh, before 11 minutes hit, uh, they kept creeping in within three and one point. But then we hit a couple of runs, and we hit, got up uh, on them, I think, 13, about 13 points twice. Uh, actually, who, who didn't have his best offensive night, uh, did continue to, to go out the basket and finished off a three-point play. And, um, you know, we ended up taking and winning the game. Uh, winning by nine convincingly and, and did what we need to do. Uh, as I said, we're not there yet. You know, this is a home game against A&M where we're supposed to win. Uh, when we go to College Station, it's going to be very much more difficult. I think they were like 37% um, shooting in the second half. That's not going to happen at College Station. Um, those threes that they were taking are going to fall, and we're going to have to be able to answer that. And I don't know if we would have been able to on the road. Uh, but we did enough to win here in Austin. It was a good win for Texas uh, against the rival team. And, uh, you know, as I said, you got to hold – if you want to win your conference, you got to hold serve at, at home. And so far we've done that. Our only loss so far in conference has been to Oklahoma, who, when you watched OU today, dismantled Baylor and Norman. And, you know, that's, that's not nothing to struggle about. I think Baylor is a very good team. And Oklahoma took them to the woodshed. Oklahoma is a very, very stout team. We've seen what they can do this year. We're going to have to work our way up to that. I don't think we're there yet, uh, but I think by February we will be. So, you know, Aggies, they play well. Congrats to them. The problem is they're 1-4 now in the conference. They're in a pretty deep hole. Uh, Missouri's playing real well right now. Um, so there's going to be a lot of competition uh, for those top spots. So Texas did the right thing, won the game, moving on next week. Tuesday night in Waco against Baylor. Hopefully I can be there in the building. We'll see how what everything happens. And, it's going to be a tough game. You know, they just come off getting whiffed by Oklahoma, but we're going to their place. And it's never easy in, in, in the Big 12 to go on the road and win a game. So, hook them horns, Texas fight. Oh, God, if you also, if you watch the game tonight, uh, if you've got DVR, uh, I was actually on TV tonight um, whenever they had uh, the student reporter. If you look, I'm right above his head just doing stupid, going crazy. So, if you guys saw me, uh, you know, if you DVR it, go back. It's the very first of the game right before the game started. So that was kind of neat. We, we got to watch it here at home. So great game, Texas. We'll see you guys next week. Got to beat Baylor. Got to stay on this roll.